guys and welcome to Hydronia. Now this is a game that I've played um, originally when it first, well before it first came out. Um, it was, huh? at the time it was, huh? really good, huh? it was a really good game. Um, I haven't played it now since all oh, last year. Um, so I thought we could uh, give it a little check out. But basically it's a gold mining game, a bit like Gold Rush. That you just dig. Um, and basically, you get gold. So, that's pretty cool. It's a very basic game. The uh, developer of this is a uh, cool guy. He does his own videos. Um, like development videos he updates it a lot you know I think we're on a fair few updates now I don't remember exactly how many he's done but yeah I thought we'd give it a check out and see what you guys think all right here we go guys so I just thought I'd do some um, basic mining first just so you guys don't have to see obviously me digging up all this but 96 coin Yes, please. There we go. I need to go in there. Yeah, brilliant. Just so we can get into a bit more... Um, not necessarily high tech, but... I mean, I haven't, like I said, I haven't played this since last year. There's been like four updates. Three updates on uh, since last time I played it. So, there is new stuff that we can both experience. Uh, although... From here it looks mostly the same, so that's not too bad, so I'm going to need a lot more money by the looks of it, but one thing I do want, and I shall get, is the improved shovel, that always helps, basically the idea is you just buy, pick up whatever you want, put it on there, and then buy with your coins in there, and it will just take it away, so I've only got 18 coins left. So that's not too bad. So let us take the shard out of here. Put it back up with water. Yeah, it's still watering. Let's go get our better shovel. Oh, and if you're wondering, you can't just like, whoop, it automatically goes. Same with that. Uh, If you say drop it here, and you can't pick it up. See? So the developer has thought about it. Now, also, one thing to note is um, this is also a single developer. He does it all on his own. Um, I think he's got some people for his, uh, like, that help with some of the stuff, but I think the majority of it he does do on his own. Uh, where's the brush? There it is. Yeah, it's a relatively simple and thorough, thoroughly thought out game, to be quite honest. He's done a really good job, I think, at doing this. So, right, let's get my normal shovel out of here, because I don't need it. And there's even a little map with all the different places on it. So, that's pretty cool. So right, let's, I think it's two of these, yep, two of that, so he's using uh, four scoops with a shovel, I'm not sure whether that yields anything better, well, we've got iron, so, but, you know, one good thing about this game is you can automate uh, half your, uh, but you can automate the whole thing once you get the coin to do it and from what I understand what's that from what I understand is he's optimized the um, the game to be less not less um, what's what word I'm trying to think of uh, basically when the game first come out you kind of got a lot of money really early 
but it was really easy to make money. I think he's just made it like, a little bit harder. A little bit harder now. Because, I mean, when I first started playing it, I think I ended up, in the first like two days of playing it, I think I ended up with like 140,000 <laughs> coin, which was enough to buy anything I ever wanted. I don't know about now, now that he's done the update. Maybe different. I mean, once we get some coins to start off with and we can go to the next place, you know, we can have a look to see. Here we go, guys. So, second lot going up. Let's see how much coin we can get out of this one. 124 out of this lot, which is fine. So let's drop that in there again. And let's carry that down. So basically the idea is... Yeah, made it. Because um, I think you can still do it. Yeah, so you drop your money on top of the other one. It merges, makes a bigger pile. So, I need... A furnace. A crucible. Yep. And I need a casting mold, but I don't have enough for that. So let's buy that. That leaves me what 20, 38. Oh, some. Okay. And every, every, all the um, items in this are placeable. So like that, which is brilliant. All the pipes. Oh, the trucks had a bit of an overhaul. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you also get this little uh, truck that you can drive, which is pretty good. Hopefully it's better than when I first ever played it, because when I first ever played it, I ended up going absolutely flying. <laughs> it wasn't uh, the best. Um, yeah, it wasn't the best uh, um, staying on the ground, let's just say. I only needed... A little bit more so let's just run this up would be enough because once I've got that I can start smelting all my gold and iron into bars that way please have enough 13 yep brilliant thank you and basically they're worth more when you smelt them into um, bars That should be enough. 52, yeah. So let's buy that one. Now, does it work? I can't remember where it used to. Be. No, it doesn't. I only carry money and gold. So that's fine. Let's put that down. Let's take my casting block. Like there. And how much coin do I have left? Ten. So I thought the, pan, the pans used to be cheaper. I've gone up to twelve. Okay. So I'm two coins short. Oh well. Let's crack on with what we were doing. Right. So now I've got fair bit in there. Let's take this over to the crucible. Let's tip this out on the floor. Pick up the boiling hot crucible with your bare hands because you can. Let's drop all them into the crucible. That's it for gold, yep. Yeah. So drop that in there and let that smelt away. Let's pick up these shards. They go in there, yeah, brilliant. There we go. Without falling over, thank you. You in there, you in there. And that's that melted. Now I'll put all the iron in there. And that's done. Pour that one out. And then... Let's 
Thank you. Get them and pour them in. This one. While they're smelting, let's take these bars out. I imagine the gold ones are going to be worth a great deal, but let's go and see what they're worth. Here we go, right. Let's try them one by one. For the iron one, 45 coin. Not too bad, a couple of bits of iron. And the gold, 59. So that's not too bad. 105 coin out of that. So let's see if... Uh, let's put that with that one. So 115. So I got the casting mold. I need an anvil. And I need a blacksmith hammer. So I need 200 coin. Uh, we get a fishing pole. Get some coin that way. And sell the fish. Pickaxe. Uh, I could do with some more buckets, but I mean, what I could do with, always up the price of the water pipes. They weren't that expensive. So yeah, they're the lights that you can get. I think there's some more you can get in the other town. I should probably buy a bed and sleep through the night then. I don't remember how expensive the beds are in this. I don't think they're that expensive because you've got to get it for, um, normally get it at the beginning anyway. There we go guys, so I've bought my bed and just use it just to sleep through the night so it's nice and bright for you guys. And let's tip out what we got in here. So we've got a little tiny bar, little tiny shard bar, so we'll put that over there so we can see it when it glows because we don't need that yet. Let's sort that one out and then let's We'll pick up the shovel. Pick up that one. Well, did I do with the... Oh, I know what I did. It's over here, isn't it? Put that down. Take that over there. There we go. Oh! Let me out. Let me out. Come on. There we go. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> right, I'm out. I'm out. Stay away from that hole. Well, sort of. Right. Let's tip this out. Get the crucible back again. And let's put all the iron in. There we go. That's all the iron ore by the looks of it. That's, uh, no, that's iron ore as well. I thought it was a gem. But... That one's a gem, so we can put that with that one. Let's smell that down. Okay, guys, so here we go. Let's go up and see what these are worth. Uh, a little bit more gold than last time. A little bit more iron than last time. Um, put my gems up as well to see what they're worth. So once again, iron, 70 coin. Not bad. Gold, 74. So the iron was almost worth as much as the gold. Okay. What about the gems? Five. Okay. Well, I don't need them yet, so. There we go. 164 coin out of that, which means... I did buy my bed, which is 42 coin, so. I've got 212 left. Which means I can buy a blacksmith hammer and an anvil. Let's take this over there. More iron. More iron. Okay, so the iron's going to be okay. Oh, didn't let you settle. So when you drop it in the bucket, if you pick it up while it's still moving, it's not set in the bucket. Let's take all this iron over here, and let's, I don't know, split it into two. So what is there? One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten, two, three, four, five. Let's do that into five. And what I might just do is just do One more bucket. Gold, which is ideal. Take this over. You done? Not yet. There we go. And let's tip the rest of this in there. Like so. And then let's put the the bar on the edge. Will it just heat up in my hands or Okay, well you're done now, so I can just put you both in there. And then I can make I can make an axe. Put this in, that one on top, and boom! Made myself a cool little that. It's not bad. Now, I will first go. I've got to stop picking up my bed, press the wrong button. Go to sleep. And I need a gem. So. Didn't get anything out of that one. Brush. No gem. waste or whatever. Just iron again. Just keep doing this I suppose. There we go. Uh oh no. Okay, I can't use a gem. I forgot you had I have to use the um Oh that's annoying. Okay, well let's just do this one then. Quick before it falls down. There we go. Ooh, got a nice tiny tiny ring. So, a ring and an axe, but I'm probably not going to have to stick up together, am I? Let's face it. Well, there is a cart here. I don't know how well it works. Okay, that works pretty cool. So, let's pick up my very, very fine ring. And let's take this cart all the way up, just for... Fun, that's why <laughs> See the cart wasn't in there last time. So it looks like that's um, a new addition in the update. Right, so here we are guys. Let's see what the old Axie boys were worth. 75 coin. Not too bad for a bit of iron. Now the ring, you just have to look really hard and you'll find it. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, it's a bracelet, not a ring. I thought it looked a bit different. There we go. I thought it was stuck in there. There we go. So 31, not too bad considering there was like next to no gold in it at all, I suppose. Uh, 107 coin out of that, not too bad, not too bad. 
Right guys, on that, I think I shall end this episode here. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button, subscribe for some more content, and until next time guys, thank you.